This is Marissa Lenti, and you are about to watch a Dice Junkies gameplay video. This is Blood X, and welcome to another Dice Junkies gameplay video. As always, we hope you enjoy. <laughs> All right, this is Blood X coming at you with another grind of video. This is going to be an improved strategy as far as hunting the scarabs. Uh, that way you can get your twinkling shells and get your uh, gear up to level 7. I've really learned uh, to appreciate the resource surveyor. Um, got it pinging on the uh, twinkling shell, obviously. And it kind of shows you where all of the uh, um, scarabs are at. Actually, apparently there's one really close to me right here. Uh, unfortunately, once you leave, it doesn't show you their current locations, but it kind of gives you an idea of where in the backyard the uh, the scarabs truly are. So when it comes to hunting scarabs, I've learned to use the um, the archer hat uh, and the marksman's cap, which helps with bow damage. And the crossbow really is the way to go. And if you can get the super gas arrows, definitely use those. I'm going to test on the regular gas arrows to see how they work. Usually I can kill a scarab in about two hits with a generalized gas or radius, but I uh, haven't tried the regular gas arrows yet, so we'll see how those work out. Oh, wow. Yeah, as you can see, the uh, crossbow does pretty good damage even with the regular gas arrows. Um... Especially if you bullseye one, then you usually get it in one shot, but <laughs> it's very seldom that I bullseye a uh, scarab like that. You usually have to shoot around it. Now, I did find a scarab the other day that gave me four shells. Generally, it's two. Uh, sometimes you get lucky, you get three, but once I actually got four out of one scarab. So there's generally a scarab around this area here on the map which is right by the uh, research station, the field station. And there's one on the other end of the, um, where the, uh, the barbecue uh, grill spillover is. All right, now that we're over here on the other side of the, um, the hot, the charcoal hot springs, there's usually a scarab in this little patch of grass over here. Um, generally, if you're trying to farm it and having a tough time with it, always save. And then that way, if you do miss or he runs and burrows, you can reload and at least he'll still be around. Where's that little twinkling buddy of mine? There he is. Oh, wow. The regular gas arrows seem to be doing pretty decent. I don't think I hit him directly. Maybe I did. But yeah, definitely wait for the gas to dissipate. Otherwise, you're going <laughs> to take some damage, too. I don't get two from that. All right, let me show you a couple more spots. Uh, that way we can go ahead and get uh, some shells. I usually get about 9 to 13 per run, just depending on how lucky I get. All right, this is one of the harder ones to find. Um, once I get to around where the, uh, the spork is with the salt, I kind of slow down because he could be anywhere in this area. Uh... There he is right there. Well, got lucky. Again. Save just in case you scare him off. Which tends to happen very frequently. Oh, damn. Anyway, wow, apparently I'm a better shot today than I normally am. There you go, so there's another one. And he's usually around the bicycle over here. 
and then you have several more uh, over that are going to be down in the ravine. And there's one by the Buster Cap gun and over there, um, usually by the very uh, northwest corner. Uh, there's some that are kind of hanging out over here by the other bicycle. This is one of the first ones I learned to uh, farm. It's over here by the Buster Cap gun. Uh, once you get on top of the fertilizer bag, and I made a little ramp uh, to get up here, uh, but he usually hangs out on the right-hand side. I've seen him on the left once, but usually he kind of scurries around the right-hand side, and he's pretty easy to, to farm. Again, I like to save just to make sure I don't scare him off because these are hard resources to find. No, oh, that was a bad shot on my part. Told you not a good shot. Surprised he didn't die from the gas. There he goes. As you can see, I am a terrible shot. Which is why I use the save feature frequently. <laughs> Um, while you're here, you may as well go ahead and take out the uh, green shield bug. Um, that way you can make super gas safe, arrows. Uh -huh. But as you can see, the regular gas arrows are, are working too. Now, don't leave the uh, shells out too long because sometimes they will disappear. And we don't want you losing your twinkling shells. Those are very valuable resources. Keep me safe. Mm. Safe fur. So there we go. Uh, hopefully that helps you with some of your uh, farming runs with the, uh, the scarabs. Uh, don't forget to save and don't forget to uh, leave any comments that you may have regarding Grounded. Um, positive, negative, I always enjoy the feedback so I can make sure that I provide the content that you, the viewer, find helpful. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you found the content helpful. If you did so, please hit the thumbs up as it helps spread the channel for other viewers. As always, you can watch Dice Junkies live on Twitch at 3.30 Central Standard Time on Sundays. We also stream gaming content on Twitch throughout the week, so be sure to subscribe there as well. If you can, please go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're up to date on all the Dice Junkies content. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>